Hey my friends, how y'all doing? Back for some more fan made. Uh, and we're going to check out Hibana Live at Shibuya Eggman. Uh, I haven't done this. I have done this song, but not this version. Um, so anyway, doing that other one, I was saying that I thought in, uh, Miku was a glue. Or not Miku, uh, Misa was the glue in one of the songs they had done. Uh, and somebody, I disagree. That's just my opinion. Uh, I, I, as a musician or an aspiring musician... Uh, I think the bass is a really uh, integral part of basically being the glue to hold the rhythm together. Uh, the drum, the, the bass, they work together, the drums and the bass. So just my opinion, guys, uh, you know, don't take anything offensively or fire, you know, comments that are, they weren't rude, but, you know, please don't fire many rude comments for my opinions. They're just that, guys, my opinions. Uh, it doesn't mean it's yours or that you agree with me, so... We all have difference of opinions. I personally feel in that song that I did, it was Misa's bass that really put that song uh, together, made it uh, just so incredibly um, dynamic because her bass playing is so cool. Anyway, we're going to check this out. Let's jump in. You see what I mean? Uh, Misa has all these little fills that she does. It really, for me personally speaking, and it's my opinion, it really just does something extra for the song. You know what I mean? And I mean, I love that what Konami was doing. It's kind of sort of a solo, but uh, chords. It sounded like octaves to me. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but it sounded like a little bit of octave work. Nice. That means just skipping a string, basically. Um, on the, she's on the higher string, so it's super cool. No, no, no. 
you know, if somebody said that they feel Konami is, like, underrated, uh, I do too, in a way. I mean, you know, she, she can shred with anybody, you know what I mean? I think she could, like, uh, you know, jump over with Midori or, you know, Miyako or something like that and play uh, really technical stuff. I know she has the skills for sure. However, what Bandmade does is it just, it's not required uh, to be flashy and fancy. Uh, it's just straight ahead rock in your face. So even though she can do it, does she really need to ask yourself that question? I personally don't think she does. Um, I love what she does uh, in everything she does. It's just, it mixes so, so well with everything else. Anyway, my friends, guys, have a great New Year's Eve coming up. That's just in a couple days. Uh, so happy Friday, guys. We'll see you soon.